Mooncat daydreams are getting out of hand. <laughs> What's up everyone, it's Kyle from Color Expression, back with another swatch and review. Today I'm excited to be partnering up with Mooncat to look at their This Is Surrealism collection. This one was five polishes that have sort of a shimmer finish, but some of them are duochrome, some are like crelly and jelly and like there's a cool mix of stuff here so I'm excited to look at these ones with you guys. These shades are all available now from Mooncat so I will link them down below if you want to check any of them out. You can get the whole collection for a discounted rate at $63 USD or you can get each shade individually for $14 USD. If you don't know much about Mooncat, they are an independent nail polish brand that is based out of the USA. They are a vegan and cruelty free brand and their formula is 10 free. If you enjoyed these swatches today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the notification bell so you're never missing out on new Mooncat or nail polish content, but I think we should just like dive right into these polishes. Not dive like we did in the intro, but just like, let's just, let's just look at the polish. So first up we will look at Head in the Clouds, which is a bit of a crelly base, I guess you could say we're getting this white base, and then in there there's this strong blue shimmer. And something I liked about this one is that it doesn't really have a duochrome effect or anything, it's kind of always that blue whenever the light is hitting it, like it's always the blue, there's no variation in that color, and I really liked that. It kind of pairs well with the pink that we got in the last collection from them, like they're almost like sister shades if you want to call it that, but there you can see in this full hand shot, this is such a nice manicure. If you like white nails, this is like the perfect little twist on that to just add a little bit of shine, a little bit of an accent to your manicure, and then we're also going to look at every shade in this collection mattified, so here you can see it matte you get that shimmer and it's a bit more of a subtle effect but I honestly really enjoyed this one and all of these matte I think that they're so cool so I'm excited to look at the rest of them next up we have con artist which like I mentioned in the intro some of these mm, this one has a bit more of a jelly finish so on this first coat you can see it's a red jelly base and it's pretty thin going on but the cool thing about that is we're going to build it up in three coats and this one was the only three coater that I found was like a third coat was needed for this one. But as we build it up, you can really see each layer of the shimmer through each coat and that red is covering up a little bit of the pigment or pink or kind of this. It's like a really like berryish color. It's a really pretty base, but I liked the contrast of that sort of orangey gold. This one reminded me of sort of like a sunset or something sunny or planety like Saturn's rings. I don't know. I thought that this one was really pretty and just like the pairing of that shimmer was really nice. And then I actually, after this swatch, I wore this matte for over a whole weekend and I loved it. It stayed on really well. It didn't fade with the matte at all. So I love the Mooncat matte top coat. Try it out if you're grabbing any of these. Next we have Apple of My Eye, which you might recognize from the apple in the beginning of this video, but this one is a green crelly base, and then in that we're getting this shimmer that you can see head on. It's like this pinkish, like barely purple, mostly pink shimmer, and then as this one kind of shifts through and you get the light at the extreme angle, it goes over to a bit of a bronzy orange and then a yellow and then a green so you're getting like green shimmer on green base which I think is really cool you'll get to see it in the next shot a little bit more but I really liked this one I felt like that contrast with the pink in some lighting like I really loved that look I thought it looked so nice and then here you can get a bit more of that extreme that gold I was talking about and then this matte you can really see that pink like that's where the kind of the matte effect looks the coolest, which I, I don't know, I really enjoyed this one matte too. I liked them all matte. I need to do matte nails more. Lol. Next up, we will look at Melting Clocks, which is a bit of a baby blue base, I guess you could say. And then, okay, quick side note, look at this first coat coverage, uh, hello. But this one is that blue base, and then in that we're getting this shimmer that at first glance looks like the shimmer in the last one. You can see it's like pink in this lighting that we're seeing it in right now. But when this one kind of goes to the extreme angle, it actually just shifts over to a bit of an 
orangey pink. It's honestly a really beautiful color and I couldn't really capture it on camera. It's kind of something that it's going to show up in person, but on camera you can really just see that pink and I mean, I even if this didn't shift and it was just pink in this polish that with that blue, it's like cotton candy or just kind of fun and then like I said, matte, these all just look so cool. I'm like this collection made me like matte nails. Not that I didn't before, but they they're just so cool. Rounding out the collection, we have probably my favorite because it's dark and moody like me. This one is 13th Hour and it's a black curly jelly. This one was an interesting formula that we've seen from Mooncat before and I love because look on the second application. We're getting full coverage. Like this is two coats in that sort of blackish like jelly base and it's full coverage. These were... Again, such a nice formula to use, such nice, easy application. I just said nice a bunch, but hey, it was. It was nice. And the thing I liked about these two is in a lot of lighting, they almost just looked black. And then when you're under or near a light, you get that blue. Like you can see here, it's it like they're pretty dark. And then you just get that blue all of a sudden. And it's really cool. And also wore these ones for a weekend, mattified and yes please thank you these it was so good i loved this one i got compliments on it so yeah totally totally obsessed of course now that we have looked at these new shades i want to hear your thoughts on them so leave a comment down below let me know which ones were your favorites which ones did you pick up i personally love like this whole collection i feel like the whole thing is just cohesive but like nice and the individual shades are all really pretty on their own but they work together so there's like a lot of good stuff that we have going on in this collection i'm a big fan of it but i like i said i want to hear your guys thoughts on it also, like I mentioned, if you're a nail polish lover like myself, if you like swatches, if you like this type of video, you should subscribe down below so you're not missing out on any of the new content that we're putting out. We do have some swatches and some cool stuff coming up, so definitely hit that subscribe button. But I think that's going to be it for this one today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. We definitely need a cat moment in the moon cat video. You want to get down, don't you? Can you give a little? Oh. No, she can't give a little. She just gave a lot by doing that, so. <laughs> Ooh, is this an ASMR moment? Okay, I think it's clean. <laughs>